Hey everyone, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to look at uh, uh, using the, the BobArt software. So we're going to get right into it. First thing I'm going to do is load in an, Im an image. I'm going to bring up this hand sketch. Now, uh, sometimes when you're dealing with hand sketches, uh, the auto vectorization process is not the best way to go. And generally it has to do with the contrast. If you, if you look at these uh, lines here, you can see they're very pixelated. And if you don't have good contrast within your image, when you try to vectorize it, it really picks up all of that pixelation. Okay, so instead of using the vectorization, what I'm going to do is just trace over the image. Now, how do you trace over the image? Well, there's a couple of uh, couple of tools that I generally use. Uh, one of them is called uh, Line Continuous, and with Line Continuous, I can just uh, plot out points on the screen. Now, one of the things is you'll notice that my mouse is snapping uh, two locations. Okay, and this is because in the in the background I have my snap grid turned on and I have it set to an increment, so it's picking up snap points. If you press the magnet and this area is grayed out, then those snap points aren't active. Okay, so line continuous. This is a, a good way to to kind of get some uh, some lines out on the screen very quickly. Okay, so again we're using a uh, uh, line uh, continuous. And we can uh, also use splines here. So we can go to splines and click these uh, around on the screen. Uh, one of the things, one of the reasons why I like using splines is, you know, you can see that this edge isn't following this curve here or not very closely. So I can go to deform and using deform, I can, you know, pull this shape up and make an adjustment to it. Okay, uh, same with these areas here. We'll do a, a spline. I generally use fit. Um, the other thing is, is because I have my snap point, it's it's forcing me to, um, on my snap grid turned on, it's forcing me to use uh, certain positions. So I'm gonna uncheck that there and we'll run these again. Oh, let me do this again. Sometimes corners, usually I wanna do three points. So I'll go one, two, three, you know, you can force uh, force it to follow a shape by those points. All right. Uh, one of the things that you can do, so I'm done with this spline, I'm gonna hit my space bar to complete it and then I'll right click and go to return the previous function. So that way I can uh, call the spline back up, but it actually looks like I'm still in the spline. So I don't even need to use the return the previous function, but that's there if you wanna go back to a, a feature that you've already worked on. So again, I'm just uh, going around the shape here, laying out this geometry as such. When I'm done with uh, the spline, I hit my space bar, or you could right click okay. And you can see really without uh, too much effort at all, you can get the shape pretty close. Again, if you want to make adjustments to the profile, you go to utilities, uh, deform, and then you can come in here and drag these shapes. Uh, the other thing you can do too is you can select the spline and then do entity modify and all the control points will come up so you can grab and, and use those control points to define that uh, spline profile. So I'm going to just continue on through all these letters and then we'll talk about the, the dolphin here.
Okay, so now we have um, most of this up. One of the tricks that I'll use is I'll use I on my keyboard to um, turn the image on and off, so this way I can see what what else I need to clean up. Um, the other thing, I need to do some trimming here, so I'll come in and trim away uh, the stuff that I don't want. You know, you want to make sure that your geometry will chain. Uh, this is I on my keyboard, so I missed the spot here. You know, and also if you look at this uh, this shape, I have these two very close, so what I want to do is deform this. So I'm going to want to uh, bring these uh, a little further away, which that looks better. All right. All right. So now just to validate the geometry, I'll do a chain select. So I'll go into selection mode, shift, left click, and I want to see it go all the way around. Okay. See how this one here, I, I didn't, I missed some spots so I can come in and clean that up. And again, <clears throat> what I noticed there is when I chain selected, it didn't go all the way around. So I'm holding down shift on my keyboard and I'm just clicking on my geometry here to do a chain select and uh, everything looks pretty good. Okay, so I'll bring the image back up and um, you know, I've, I've started with my lettering, which will be the first part of this. Uh, hopefully I'll get back and get into the dolphin. Um, you know, if you have any uh, questions or comments or feedback, uh, just uh, <clears throat> just let me know, guys. Uh, you know, drop a, a comment in the the video. Um, you know, if you like what you see here, give us a thumb thumbs up. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. See you then.